Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. We got some uh, developments, uh, global developments, actually, and uh, these uh, developments have to do with uh, Russian statements at the United Nations regarding the use of nuclear weapons. And uh, the statements are important and very concerning. This article comes from Reuters from August 2nd, 2022, and this is the title. West could trigger nuclear war over Ukraine, Russia says at United Nations. The conflict in Ukraine does not warrant Russia's use of nuclear weapons, but Moscow could decide to use its nuclear arsenal in respect to, quote unquote, direct aggression, end quote, by NATO countries over the invasion, Russia said on Tuesday at the United Nations. So, it does, that, so the conflict in Ukraine doesn't, uh, it's under control, it says Russia, but it could decide to use it in response to direct aggression by NATO countries. And uh, that is prob probably a uh, subjective interpretation of aggression because you can consider aggression however you feel like and the opposite side could say there's not an aggression you say yeah, it's an aggression so what are you going to do about it it's me who has to decide it's an aggression not you and i'm gonna you know act upon my feelings or my assessments <laughs> at a nuclear non-proliferation conference russia russian diplomat alexander trofimov rejected and i'm quoting utterly unfounded detached from reality and unacceptable speculation that Russia, speculations that Russia allegedly threatens to use nuclear weapons, particularly in Ukraine, end quote. So they deny it. So whenever you hear some individual somewhere saying that Russia says that it might use that in Ukraine, you have it in front of the uh, an audience at the nuclear non-proliferation conference a Russian diplomat, so it's a legitimate person, not a doorman or a, I don't know, you know, that's a diplomat, utterly uh, rejected, utterly unfounded, detached from reality and unacceptable speculations that Russia allegedly threatens to use nuclear weapons, particular in Ukraine, particularly in Ukraine. Within days of Russia's February 24 invasion, Putin put, Putin put the country's deterrence force, which included nuclear arms on high alert, citing that he called aggressive statements by NATO leaders and Western economic sanctions against Moscow. But he called aggressive statements. Uh, remember that uh, it was NATO who did, uh, uh, it was something like a, a, a fast uh, attack, quick attack force, something, I can, something along these lines that NATO did uh, and they boosted it from a certain number to a certain number and these guys did this as a reaction remember that one so this was a reaction of that one but they don't uh, tell you that because this was a reaction of that because they think your attention span is three minutes uh, how was that called quick reaction force or something like that uh, Trofimov, a senior diplomat in the Non-Proliferation and Arms Control Department of Russia's Foreign Ministry, said Moscow would only use nuclear weapons in response to weapons of mass destruction or a conventional weapons attack that threatened the existence of the Russian state. And I'm quoting, None of these two hypothetical scenarios is relevant to the situation in Ukraine. So. Ukraine doesn't warrant the use of nuclear weapons as is. And uh, quote, Trofimov told the United Nations Conference to review the Treaty of the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons. However, he accounted NATO countries of a, and I'm quoting, fierce hybrid confrontation, end quote, against Russia that now, quote unquote, dangerously balances on the edge of open military clash, end quote. So, however, he accused NATO countries of a fierce hybrid confrontation, 
against Russia that now dangerously balances on the edge of military, open military clash. And I'm quoting again, such a move would be able to trigger one of the two emergency scenarios describing our doctrine, end quote, Trofimov said, and I'm quoting again, we obviously, obviously stand for preventing this, but if Western countries try to test our resolve, Russia will not back down, end quote. So if, if, if United States continues to, in this case of the Western countries, continue in what they perceive as continue, continuations. Uh, you know, uh, the countries try to test our resolve, Russia will not back down. Russia on Tuesday accused the United States of direct involvement in the Ukraine war. So there is direct involvement of a foreign nation in the war between Russia and Ukraine. Moscow said it was responding to comments by a Ukraine official about the way Kiev had used US-made and supplied high-mobility artillery rocket systems, HIMARS, launchers based on what the official called excellent satellite imagery and real-time information. So this is the state, these are statements that a uh, Ukrainian statesman, official, Ukrainian official, uh, made, and I remember that because I made a, uh, a video on that, that they are helped by the United States uh, intelligence and so on. And I think it was also, um, uh, I can't remember exactly who that was, Sullivan or it was Blinken, who said one of these guy, or maybe it was the, uh, what's his name, uh, the um, general, I can't remember his, uh, his name right now, pa Austin, General Austin, who said that they help uh, Ukrainians with intelligence and they work together with this and that. And then it was Biden and White House who said, don't ever say this again, stop saying this, blah, 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 blah. So I don't know if that's true or not, but statements are statements and you either lied or you did not lie. So when you say I'm turning left and then I say, well, actually I didn't say I turn left. What well, you did, you're on tape. <laughs> uh, what are you gonna say? You didn't mean to turn left, you meant actually to say right. So it's not really like that. You don't make a mistake like that, bragging about things. And if you bragged, that's a different story. But I don't think the Russians have only this uh, piece of information, but sometimes you don't want to give your information so they don't know the source. I mean, they will figure out the source and then you compromise your uh, asset. Um, I think it's going, I think, as of now, uh, if the, the some countries in the West don't hold their horses back uh, and they keep saying what they've been saying, and they do what they have been doing, thinking that they are winning, and by winning, meaning Russia becomes desperate and it makes these kind of comments. And if they think that Russia will not use what they say they will use, uh, we are in big trouble. We meaning you and I. And that is because, as I stated before, Russia has a very high rating of uh, consistency, uh, big consistency of the things they say will do and what they do after they said they will do. And I'm very concerned with that. Um, I'm very concerned. I'm not concerned that this uh, planet will explode. I'm, I'm, I made peace with uh, myself and my ancestors, so I have no problem about that. Uh, the thing is, a stupid death is a stupid death, if you know what I mean, especially if it's dictated by some other people. Uh, and a heroic death, it's a different story, or a meaningful, you know, you jump into fire to save a child from, you know, a fire. Yeah, that's a meaningful, you, you did something, or you defend your country, or your family, or the loved ones, and that's a, a meaningful, you know, heroic you know, against all odds and so on. But to die just because I'm talking right now and all of a sudden the house gets blown blown away and we don't know anything from now on, 
uh, that's a stupid death. And I really don't want to have one like that. You know, it's kind of stupid. Or, you know, you just uh, walk and you trip, fall and hit your head on the concrete and you die. Now, that's a stupid death right there. I don't like that kind of thing, but I can't pick and choose. I mean, I can't pick and choose because you can pick sometimes how you die. But uh, some, most of the time you can't, right? So what's going what's gonna to happen here? I hope that uh, this a few 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 countries are coming to their senses but I don't think so I think they will uh, start mocking the Russians and they will say this is a sign of weakness we're gonna keep doing what we're doing because it's working and they will not believe that the Russians will do that and we have the example of China that I'm very disappointed with Pelosi Pelosi and China I'm very disappointed and Taiwan remember but the Russians are not uh, Chinese, it seems like, and the Chinese are not the Russian, obviously. Well, I'm going to let you know what uh, these great leaders of ours, who determine how we live and how long we live, um, took all these statements uh, with a glass of uh, wine or vodka or, I don't know, whiskey, beer or whatever they are, they're snorting stuff. So thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.